Hey guys, so today I'm doing a review about Earth 101. It's an app that's for your iPad. Um, it's right here on the left hand side, as you can see. Okay, so I'm just going to go right into it. Just in case I am running this on my iPad, it's not on my computer, as you can see my computer screen. Um, it's actually on my iPad. I'm just um, airplaying my iPad to um, my screen here. So that's why. Um, so I'm just going to play around with it a little bit. This is mostly for kids. Now if you pinch out, you can see the whole world. Now a lot of people have been saying that you have Google Maps um, and you don't really need this or Google Earth, right? However, this has different um, information and different graphics than Google Earth. So I'm just going to go right into here, for example. So, or let's say you want some information for this, you just tap on the buildings and it'll give you different information. Um, if you tap again, then you can see and read the article if you want to read about it. Um, other than that, it's not, I wouldn't say it's the greatest app out there, but it is fun for kids and for them to play around with it. Um, it will force them kind of to tap on things and kind of read it a little bit about it, at least. Um, it doesn't give them that much information, so I'm just going to tap on CN Tower, for example, in North America. Um, everything is from Wikipedia with this app, so I guess that this connects up to that automatically. It doesn't take up too much space on your iPad, so it's something that you might want to have. Once again, it's a little bit more for kids. Um, maybe, maybe if you're doing a presentation or you need something on the country, you might find some stuff here, but let's say you wanted a specific country, like uh, let's say something like Ecuador. Okay, in Ecuador, um, there's a lot more stuff than just this building right here. This building right here is actually not that big, but they show it in scale, like it's huge, like one of the main attractions. When it's really not, um, I'm just gonna click on it, and I gotta say that. Observatory, it's not a huge thing in uh in Quito. It's um actually nobody goes there anymore and uh they're actually gonna shut it down. So this is something that only um kids go to, for example, in Ecuador, but not even that much anymore. So it's kinda bad that they only have that for Ecuador, for example. And you can see that with other countries, like they only have one building and if you tap on it that's that's about it. Um if you tap on other parts from the country, you won't see that much information from it. Um, so that's basically for this app. As you can see, it's okay, not the greatest app, but it's pretty good for your kids to play around with it. They'll probably get bored in a couple of days with it. And um, other than that, it's okay just to get your, if you have small kids and you want to get them started with uh, reading and playing around with your iPad in an uh, educational way this would be a good app to have. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, if that's not working for some reason, just leave your comment down here and don't forget to subscribe and rate.